All right, so down at Glendower today. I started working on my game more out here now. Steve's given me a bit of help. So we're going through a few like changes, trying to slowly work them in to my golf swing, just to try and make it a bit more of a consistent move because I have been struggling recently. And to be fair, haven't really been practicing much out here, just focusing on the content. But now is the time as we approach next year to really start giving it a good go and doing the right things, putting the reps in, etc. So I think what we're gonna do is play a few holes here. So we're at Glen Dower. Originally come out here to film a course vlog, but with new moves, um, not feeling good at all yet, um, as we only really started to talk about them over the last couple of days. I think it, this is a good moment to, for you to see some of Steve's wisdom um, and listen to the things that he's saying. So we're gonna do like an on-course lesson He's gonna talk about how to maybe approach playing golf when you're making changes. I'm gonna talk about some of the changes as well. Um, but all in all, I think this would just be this would just be interesting for people that are interested in getting a bit better. Uh, yeah, I just said that we're just gonna do an on-course lesson, maybe like three holes. Yeah. Where you can just similar to what we did yesterday, really. Sort of yeah, implement it on the course a bit and exactly. what to try and do, what not to try and do, and yeah, yeah, cool. We're playing like into the wind, like in the tournament, you get a totally different golf shot than I would do today. Like trying to practice my swing a bit, trying to feel a couple of things. Whereas if I was playing the tournament, I just back foot, bullet low, middle of the green sort of shot. Whereas yeah, I know I can play that, and I'm not trying to improve that area of my game. I'm trying to get my swing a little bit better. By doing that, I'll probably hit some worse shots because aim shot doesn't really suit the situation and I want to get more exaggerated with the swing feel than focusing on trying to hit a good shot. So I yeah. just cut myself a bit of slack for, it's not really like a results based outcome, it's more how good did I feel I did the move yeah. and then just be see what result it produced and then try and learn how much of your swing stuff you can filter in whilst still trying to play sort of decent golf. Yeah. Because I think people have a lesson. Stick with everything for two or three rounds it's not working on the course, it's a load of crap. I'm gonna go back to super strong grip, come over the top or whatever. And whereas you need to sort of drip feed bits of it in and then forget some of it and I'm gonna play golf because it's a medal or whatever. And then go back to picking up where you left off. So this is the whole in question. So this is playing 180 because it's downhill. So this is probably one of the toughest holes at Glendower. This yeah, is renowned hole, yeah. when they play this on the European tour. This is a strong hole. We got Hazard Short and right um, and some bunkers and a very tough green. So probably the hardest hole on the course to pick this vlog up on. Yeah, so you've got to give yourself slack if you're, like if I'm working on my swing, I prefer to really commit to working my swing on this shot than Christ, if I duff it in the water, I don't really care. Like it's more yeah. how I produce the move and you might actually discover that actually really exaggerating a move on the golf course, like quite a lot of good golf shots. And then you learn, oh, I can keep this feeling going into a medal or into club champs or, yeah. Well, not as many medals going on in England at the minute, but you sort of learn a bit about yourself and a bit about your game on where to balance up playing golf to playing golf swing. It's four iron? Five. Five iron. I'm not sure it's going to get there. So it's missing just left of the bunk there. Probably find it. If I hit that trying to hit a golf shot, I'll be a bit pissed off, but hitting that shot trying to work on my swing I like feel like I learned something yeah. about my swing that right I've missed the last shot left this shot left so I know the more I focus on that currently I've got a bit of a left tendency so then I'll try and hit a few shots where I don't focus on it so much and see if it straightens up yeah and then sort of drip feed it back in so James has been doing a bit of backswing work yesterday but you got nice results didn't you towards the end yeah yesterday I started hitting some really good shots and I think you've seen a bit of a different in like flight and strike but yeah. i'd say backswing's probably like the hardest thing to implement on the golf course consistently you've got to get the club moving before you get any feels are you trying to exaggerate it here or are you trying to hit a bit of a golf shot or a bit of both or move, early fold and keep the right elbow in front so far less results orientated more try and make the move and see what happens
decent flight just at the right edge of the green. Ah, so. How did you feel you did the move there? I felt the move was pretty good. You're maybe, quite happy with... Maybe got slightly too outcome focused when I actually got into the, into the move. Yeah. Like subconsciously. But that's the sort of feedback you need to give yourself of... You're trying to make a different move golf swing. How well did I do that? Yeah. Was yeah, you're I'd like, say, well, so you give did it myself a 6 out of 10. Then. Yeah. But your golf shot was actually quite good. So it's like, well, yeah. what one are you so more sort happy of like with? like a middle ground there, isn't it? Yeah. So that's... Like swing was okay, outcome was if okay. If you keep repeating that, then I'd say, well, you sort of know your balance of how far you can push it and hit a decent golf shot and then yeah. maybe try and push it more on the golf course when you're playing socially or you decide, I'm going to play nine holes working on my swing, etc. Yeah. And free yourself up a bit. Well, class, that. Yeah, the other thing I spoke to Steve about yesterday is uh, just the difference in taking the swing stuff to the golf course, which um, was quite interesting because I think most people, if they're changing something, they just solely spend time hitting balls on a range. And obviously there's a time and a place for that and it's a really good place to ingrain like moves, especially when you can go completely te technique focused on a driving range. But then when you take it to the course, it feels completely alien. So taking it to the course and, and not having like 50 balls in a row and giving yourself a bit of time to, you know, move to different shot situations and then trying to implement the changes then and then seeing how much you can implement them um, is also pretty decent too. They clap in the movies. I know they got the clipper, but then someone... Someone's ain't got the clap. Nah, not again. So you asked a lot, a little bit of advice didn't you, yesterday on... Yeah where your swing was at and we well i sort of felt like we filmed it when we practiced at world of golf the other day where you were sort of getting it rolling quite a long way behind so i sort of get quite far away quite a strong grip and then get it rolling in here quite deep and then from there i tend to just get this move at the top where like the arms just keep traveling you yeah nothing else turns so there's lots of travel when everything stops and from there I'm sort of like completely out of sync because like although I do a job of like lifting the club a bit, it travels a lot and then because I'm sort of here, we see it from this view, like everything, the hips go really early and I push early and then I get really like stuck on the inside. Yeah, you were, you sort of go super wide, don't you, to yeah, super almost wide, a bit narrow. Narrow, early and then... Try and get some width and jump up out of it so we're just doing a bit of backswing work trying to get you sort of a bit closer to the ball yeah so a bit closer we're trying to like just weaken the grip slightly just to make it a bit more conventional because it does get on the strong side i noticed that when we when we made a few backswing changes the miss was quite a big left um so we just weaken the grip off to a bit more of a neutral grip um, getting this right arm a bit tucked under, which is one of the things that we used, I used to do with Ryan quite a lot as well, which has got away from me. Getting a tiny bit closer, and from there, the first move, instead of sort of like dragging it and opening yeah, up. Drag and roll it, don't you? Yeah, we're trying to get this right arm folding, but also staying out in front. So essentially, like that kind of move. And he likes that because he looks a little bit like Adam Scott in the second half yeah, of the so backswing. Does that look like... I see it. Let's do it. Give him a... You're definitely a lot more sort of outside to then moving flatter than rolling it behind you and lifting to the yeah. top of the backswing. Instead of being here, roll, travel, sort of like fold, turn. And if you look at it from this view, there's a lot of width then. Even though... I'm less wide initially. You sort of set everything a bit earlier, it don't you? Sets. And then turn to the top. And then this right arm just stays like properly in front. So then with the right arm properly in front, it means like before it was here, I got really stuck. You keep the right arm in front, it's in front of your body on the way down. You sort of rotate a bit better. And it's easier to rotate. Well, it'd be quite good for the guys to see and girls, but um, like you going on the golf course, trying to how you, how you implement it and because i think that's the hardest bit for people when they have a lesson it can go great on the range in your half hour 40 minute lesson 
hitting yeah. ball after ball, but that's totally different when you yeah. come on the golf course, stand around for 10 minutes, different club each shot. For instance, this morning, no warm up, came out, literally felt horrific, like straight away. Got, we got a bit sulky, James, didn't we, to be I honest? Mean, the guy in the pro shop was rude. So that sort of pissed me off a bit. Rattled but, the cage early doors. But anyway. Right, so how much emphasis are you putting on your swing here and how much are you putting on? Full emphasis on on setup wise, getting that tucked and getting it tucked and keeping that right arm in front. So it's like your exaggerated swing yeah. and almost just see where the ball goes rather than when you do this you want to put your emphasis on how well you did the move, not yeah. where did the golf ball go. It was tuck, not the F. I mean, that's good, there's a good result, piped it. But it's got to be said at the same time, that felt awful in a way, like through transition, just because I'm not used to being in that position. So you've got to get used to the way the body's going to move from there. Like the end, the end result is that I'm going to be way more balanced because I'll be synced up better and moving better. But at the moment, it feels a bit all out of whack. And there we go. Steve, is it a pipe? Yeah, shot me. B is the number. If you're working on your swing at home, I would go out and play nine holes on your own and like totally exaggerate it because it's quite hard. Ego gets in the way, doesn't it? A lot with. If you're playing with mates, you don't want it a terrible shot. Yeah. Then give you stick for having a lesson. Oh, I see that lesson worked. It's like, well, you're not going to get better instantly. So right, are you hitting a golf shot or are you golf swinging or a bit of both or? I'm still going to try and make a good move, but get target focused as well. Okay, so a little bit of. So it's one, two, nine, we're still going to try and, we're going to try and get a pipe. Got to have the golf ball. Looks tight. It's like Rory. Rory held his second shot here in the SA Open. Did it? With about 12,000 people watching his group. Well, I've got two people. That's two more than I had when I played. Chubby checker, as John Morgan would say. But yeah, if you're playing on the course, go and have some fun with it. Go and toy around with your technique. And you don't always have to try and play well. You can try and improve your golf swing and enjoy enjoy that side of it but then cut yourself some slack when oh, you are rabbit, when you are playing we've got wildlife where oh, he's gone in the tree. He's oh, at the of the my tree. zooming skills See i wouldn't have seen him anyway out. bottom left of the tree um there he is hello yeah oh he's popped up yeah he's in full view no i've panicked <laughs> there we are i got him mm. oh straight in the tree i think that geo might be waiting a while to sign me up on the camera but yeah, if you are working on your swing, just toy around with how much you try and do it on the golf course and try and enjoy the freedom of not worrying where the ball goes and just just um, try and exaggerate the moves and you might actually surprise yourself and hit some good golf shots. But then if you're playing a tournament, just free it up and try and actually get the golf ball in the hole. I mean, that's what most of the guys do that play on tour. Work on the technique constantly, but learn when to try and use it and when not to. Good roll, mate. Yeah, lovely shot, mate. Is that covering it? Hopefully, left of it. Oh, yeah. Way left of it. Covering it, it's not reached it. With that last swing, I went full technique and it felt pretty good. So, sort of feeling we'll do the same thing, maybe even exaggerate it a tiny bit more. Yeah. And just push the boundaries and see where that takes it. That's what you've got to do. It's just because you might actually learn that whilst it feels so different, you know, you're actually hitting decent golf shots or you might learn, actually I need to put this to bed till I'm on the driving range. Yeah. Practice it when I play golf, maybe play nine holes on your own and use it. And then if you're playing with your mates, do nine holes of technical work, nine holes of playing a match. So it's horrible when you think you've got some up, worked in on the range and then you step on the golf course and it, it's not working at all. Beautiful par five this down the wind today. It's a weak grip, tucked in. 
fold and elbow in front. A bit of a better angle for exactly. you. Quite a good result. If you get out of the way, I'll show it, mate. And I've zoomed in as far as I can go. Pretty good. Get aware of your tendencies when, when you're trying to do stuff. What's what the outcomes likely are. to happen, and then you can sort of manage it whilst trying to do a similar move. Try an exaggerated one with an iron. Just, just, just sat over on the. Just try and exaggerate this again. Just over the edge of the trap there. Right, so less, less shot outcome, more technique. Cut yourself some slack on the result and hopefully you might surprise yourself like off the tee. Good arm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sure. Just felt I got a bit under that. And the backswing? Yeah, right, no. What would you like rate yourself? I'd rate that like a four. Not very good? Yeah, not very good. Okay. Like, the first initial move didn't feel too good, but I felt like I didn't really get that fold and it sort of got a bit stuck. And that then, when I get it in the right spot and I get that folding up, it feels like, you know that Tiger 2000 swing, where it looks like he's like slicing down the plane? Like that's how it feels and then I finish in the right place. But if I get a bit stuck, my finish feels like a bit like this, like savvy and round. For context, we have watched every round of Tiger <laughs> from 2000 the last few nights. Yeah. We've been a bit pervy recently, haven't we? It's been a bit pervy, been a bit naughty. <laughs> Alright, Steve off a pretty grainy lie. We're actually quite happy with my little hybrid effort. Yeah, got up by the green with the hybrid. Man, if Steve's short game, this won't be a problem. There you go. Alright, 20 feet, a lot of left to right. For a little eagle. Downwind today, as you can see by the flag. It's not high enough. Yeah. Good roll. Yeah, they swing a lot these greens there. So that's the birdie. Right, I hope, you, no. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. This is something completely new on my channel. I've not done anything like this before. Interesting to see how this takes. Always worth experimenting a bit. Um, but ultimately this is sort of what the channel is about. Like not only like showing the, the course vlogs with good players, but showing the process of getting better. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, we're on the 18th now, so we're going to go out and play a nine-hole match on the back nine at Glendower. So the next video that you see, which is going to be James Walcher versus Steve Surrey, uh, make sure we click on that just to see how it goes in a comp. And uh, if there's any comments about my fade, it cost me seven pounds. Uh, yeah, no, not. I they won't even know you should have a haircut, mate. You have it that often, you, mate. They will after this one. <laughs> Looks like Edward Scissorhands is that a go. All right, see you soon.